morning, my friends. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I'm your Sunday blogger, Rosemary. Welcome. Okay, today's question is, glasses would help, need to hit restart. How do you do it? Commonly asked questions in our community are, please share how, how if you get off track, lose focus, how do you hit restart and get back on track? Share what triggers you getting off track too. Well, getting back on track, I'm telling you, um, it's the clothes, how they fit me. Uh, when I see that they're not fitting correctly, uh, I start to hit the restart button right away. I know that a lot of people don't believe in uh, weighing themselves every day, you know, um, and I've gotten off doing it every day. My doctor suggested uh, once a month, my my bariatric doctor here in Fresno, suggested uh, once a month, not every day. And uh, so that has helped a little bit uh, to refocus. And um, I don't know, guys. I just really believe that I want to feel good. This is for me. I want to feel good in the clothes that I still wore maybe even five years ago. I want to still be, be able to wear them even better than five years ago. Yesterday, or really today, guys, because I, I, I know I tell you guys I do this on Saturday because I am so busy on Sundays. This is the only, Sundays are the only day that my husband has off, so I'm very busy on Sundays. But anyway... Uh, I put up on Facebook today, you know, I there's this this dress I've had for uh, when I first, it was one of my gold dresses I wanted to get into so badly. Uh, I love blue jean and I couldn't get into blue jean and I just kept it around. I bought it at a thrift store many moons ago. It's got like this leather on the edge and um, and on the pockets and it's actually a dress. It looks like a skirt. Mm -hmm. It looks like a skirt, but it's a dress. I just, anyway, I put on Facebook uh, today or this morning that it's weird. The dress says 810. It's a size 810, so it'll fit either an 8 or a 10 person, right? But every time I wear it, in my head I'm thinking, well, Rosemary, the only reason it fits you is because it flares out. <laughs> That's the only reason it fits you. And I have to go back and think, no, when you were trying to get into it, you couldn't even get one third of this dress onto your body. And yet you're wearing it today, right? So our minds will always play tricks on us. You know, we have to be in a right frame of mind. We have to continually fight with that brain of ours. That mind that says, you don't deserve it, you're not worthy, or how far have you really taken your body, or uh, why haven't you taken it further? All these things that just are ridiculous, really, because what, where would we have been if we had never done weight loss surgery or, or done anything to, to lose weight? At this 10-year mark, you know, if you had never started. So getting back on track is, is focusing on me. Taking the time to focus on me. You know. It still uh, is a work in progress no matter which way you look at it. Even if you just want to maintain, it's still work. Share what triggers you getting off track. Off track would be... Uh, You know, the night eating, that is so hard for so many of us, right? I know it's hard for me. And um, like the next day, I feel so terrible. I feel so guilty because I ate something that I shouldn't have eaten. And, and or I think, you know, if I do it like maybe too often of the, in the week, I feel miserable. I want to do extra at the gym. I want to push myself even harder, you know, when I do the walking or whatever. Uh... So, 
what gets me off track is me. What gets me off track is knowing I shouldn't have had that and I do it anyway and it just makes me feel icky. It just does. So I try not to do it. I try to, you know, have those questions that I ask myself all the time. Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? And uh, when I get off track, I have to not beat myself up because I did it too. That's, you know, that's that's number one, I think, that when I get off track uh, on, a, on a week, you know, uh, this, is, this coming week is going to be my birthday week, and Monday, uh, which was tomorrow, if you guys are viewing this Sunday, uh, Nedra will be taking me out, and I keep thinking in my head, okay, I have to get my exercise done, so I'm not going to have time to go to the, to the gym because we're doing it we're going out early, uh, so I'm going to make sure I get my exercise. I've already had it, have it in my head. I'm going to get on my elliptical early, just like I did today, because I know that next week is going to, or this next week is going to be my birthday week, and I'm going to be off a little bit. But I've already pre-planned my steps. I've already pre-planned what workouts I'm going to do so that I don't get off track. Okay, guys, so at some point... We will all need to take a moment to step back and consider whether the highway we've been driving on for years still leads us to the ultimate destination we want for our lives. If it doesn't, it might be time to get off at the next exit and start doing something else. For me, I started doing something else. Uh, I'm very grateful for uh, the gym membership that my daughter started us with. Uh, we ended up doing a three-year plan. It was cheaper that way for us. You know, they gave us a senior plan. I don't know why everybody keeps giving us a senior plan. We're not seniors yet, but almost. And um, so I got off that that road and started a new, a new one. And hopefully I will see changes. But even if I don't see you know, huge changes at one time. I am just so grateful where I'm at today. And uh, I want you to take that as power. Embracing where you're at today is powerful, guys. You know, I put that on Facebook today. Embracing your body today is amazing. It's powerful. It changes you. It makes you, you know, appreciate the life you're in today because you're not in the life you were before. I am not in my 487 body that kept me from doing all that I do today. I'm very grateful, very thankful, and uh, that's how I'll end it today. So if you're on that highway and you're still on it and you're happy to be on it, embrace it. But if you need to exit like I did, and start a new regimen of exercise and eating and making sure you get your water or whatever, whatever it may be, you know, then it's time to exit. I love you guys. Go out and be the best you that you know how to be. And I'll see you next Sunday. Same time, same channel. See ya. Leave me a comment. Bye.